Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I'm playing the Cyclops, the Cyclops 11A, because I wanted to do another heavy gauze build and the Cyclops is a very good carrier for the heavy gauze. I'm not going for dual gauze on the Slipney because I wanted to check out um, a mixed build here today and a uh, quick side note here, this is material that I recorded early on, so um, yeah, this was uh, one of my first gauze rifle, heavy gauze rifle builds ever and I just pulled it out of the archive, so therefore you will see a switch in, in the scene in a second. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the build a second. As you can see, we have one heavy gauze rifle. We've got some backup weapons uh, in terms of uh, three MRM-10 and two ER medium laser. Now, why this? Uh, heavy gauze, of course, is our main weapon here. We have to take a standard engine with that, sadly, so no light engine. Uh, but we are running the standard 325, which is reasonable in that uh, tonnage sector here. 90 tons is, is quite of okay if you take a 200, uh, 325 rated engine, because it brings you to, to around 60 kph. It's still quite mobile for an assault mech. I'm taking three MRM-10. This is the number of MRM-10s that you can fire together without ghost heat. And I'm taking a three MRM-10 over an MRM-30 because it is more weight efficient as you can see uh, 3 mm10 weight 9 tons combined and mm30 weighs 10 tons combined so I save a ton by splitting up the weapons here of course it is not optimal when you take a look at the at the hard points here so um, this one would be my preferred hard point but uh, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway if I go if I'd gone for a single 30 launcher so this would be in here somewhere but anyway it's still pretty high we can shoot that early on we can shoot it at mid-range and uh, this is the the first engagement weapon um, again, we have some medium lasers as backup here on the right arm. It's good for shooting UAVs. I'm going for ERs because the heavy gauze is quite heat neutral and I can uh, use the spare heat to go for the ER mats instead of regular mats. Uh, we have a bit of more range with that. So our MRMs and the ER mats are our you know, mid-range weapons. Um, as you can see, I spread my ammunition of the heavy gauze all over the place. And you would ask now, why would you do that? It doesn't explode. There is no need for storing it in the legs. But... Let me quickly talk about that. Um, if I just store my ammo in just one component and then a component gets blown off, like uh, if I put everything here in the side torso for crit padding and I lose my left side torso, then I wouldn't be able to shoot with my right side, side torso at all. So my right torso would be gone as well because there, I had no ammo anymore. And therefore, um, I spread it in uh, all over my components here. So if I get my, my left torso blown up, um, then I can shoot with my right torso. And as you can see, I have to put an, uh, a ton of MRM ammo in here, but that's not a big deal because um, the, the ammo consumption pattern is uh, head, center torso, and then left, right torso, uh, and then the arms, then the legs or something like that. So that means that um, my... MRM ammo in the left torso will be consumed first and we have 300 uh, missiles in each ton of ammo here which means after 10 shots of my MRMs combined um, this, this thing is empty and by then um, it will consume the, the leg ammo. So uh, I, I'm taking a bit of a risk of an ammo explosion here and I'm not taking case because I want to have that half ton for something else. Um, some of you, you know, just uh, uh, ask these questions a lot. Why are you not taking case when you have some ammo in the side also? Because it will be consumed first and very early on so that I don't need to care about that. So very important here. The skills look like this. We have a lot of skills invested into firepower. I'm going for both ghost, ghost charge uh, nodes here because uh, the heavy gauze has a very, very uh, short charge up time. Or oh, not the charge up time, but the hold time is very short. And uh, having these two ghost charge uh, nodes is, uh, is good to have. It's not mandatory if you're super skilled, you can leave them, but uh, I'd like to have them. Also, I'm going for one uh, magazine capacity. I've got the, the missile nodes here and um, yeah, I got a bit of cooldown. Cooldown is what I went for uh, the most here. I invested a bit into skeletal density since we have the structure quirks on the Cyclops. I didn't have enough skill nodes for the full speed week. Um, because um, I, I haven't mastered it yet. So uh, what I did here, I invested a bit into into the, the firepower, a bit into um, armor and survivability, and then I went for mobility, and that's that's basically it. So, uh, you know, I, I have some XP lying around, but that's because I played the Cyclops after I recorded that. So this is the skill build that you will see. Of course, you would go for something like uh, maximizing the, the speed tweak, probably going for 60% radar deprivation, maybe another consumable slot, and um, then maxing out the firepower tree, getting all the missile nodes, and maybe heat gen and more cooldown. So cool is the thing that you want in that here and um, you should you should go for it because uh, it just amplifies your DPS so so much. 
and that's the build. I wish you all a, a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating as always and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Tourmaline Desert. We are playing Assault. I'm going over to the Fox uh, 6, Echo 6 area and then I'm going to shoot everybody. <laughs> That's the plan. So uh, yeah, we have a very good setup actually for this map here. Uh, it's a very hot map as everybody knows. Also, I forgot my consumables oh my again. <laughs> and yeah, we have that heavy gauze. Heavy gauze is uh, actually pretty nice. It says uh, the optimal range is 207 meters uh, with my skills unlocked and everything. However, it, it has an extended range. So um, the I think the nominal uh, maximum range is 900 meters. So you can't fire beyond double range. I mean, it's it's insane and you still deal damage. I mean, not at 900 meter anymore, but I think you get the point, right? So there, there's no need going for like um, super close uh, shots. You can actually shoot at distance and that's cool. And this is exactly what we are going to do. We have um, like 400 meter range. I actually don't like that we are going to Fox 7. Guys, let's take Echo 6. Why are we going down there? Enemy is coming from like Delta 5 area. Affirmative. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, again, the enemy is coming from there, so we can actually go ahead and shoot them. 700 meters, not optimal. Oh, we got a bushwhacker in the open, he's alone. Nope, uh, it's a marauder. But yeah, so we're just going ahead and, and shoot him. So this is what we do. With our Gauls rifle and the medium lasers. Not optimal for... Um, oh, I'm, I'm not an optimal range for my missiles. It's not a thing I can provide, not at the marauder. But at this point here, roadway to uh, Delta 6. We need everybody here. Charge up, shoot. Ooh, that was probably a friendly fire hit. I'm sorry, did I hit you, Uzi? Ouch. Alright, okay, I'm getting shot from the left. Oh my god, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, about that. But yeah, my left arm is my shield arm. As always, uh, it's not a big deal if that falls off. <laughs> I have no problem with that at all. Acquired. So uh, we are going to shoot these people here. Oh, he's dead already. That's a, that's a shame. Acquired. Let's go ahead and kill Alpha. I'm a bit scared of the left side here, to be honest. Ooh, PPCs. Boom. Get wrecked. I love this build. It is so versatile. It has a lot of options. You can do the pinpoint uh, damage with the heavy ghost rifle. Uh, you can also shoot your MRMs and I'm going to go over here. And I'm probably complaining about nobody following up here. Ah, old mech. Not a problem. What did you... did you see that? He just... jumped? Probably a lag jump. I mean lag in terms of not being in sync with the server. Hello! What is that? It's a cougar. Well, let's kill that cougar. Or at least a side horse. I couldn't get a side horse. Okay. Echo 6 again, boys. Echo 6. Boom. Boom. Splash the damage. Uh, I need to wait for my team now because uh, I'm the only one fighting like four enemies at the same time. That's not a good matchup for me. Uh, they are rotating to Echo 7. We need to catch them here. Echo 6. So I'm just waiting. Team is engaging? Alright, then it's time to, for me to engage as well. Boom. Spread the missiles. Or lead acquired. the missiles. Left side. Missile. Oh, actually, he broke line of sight. That was good. So, again, I really like this build. It's, it's very chill. Uh, we have a lot of armor, as, uh, of course, since we are an assault mech. And we can do ooh, something like this. Ah, I missed the shot. Yeah, I, I need to focus a bit more. Okay, problem is that I'm hot. I didn't expect that, despite being on Tourmaline Desert here. Okay, I'm dropping into, into Echo 6, Echo 7 now. Follow up? New target acquired. <laughs> okay, Zeus should be dead. I think it's not necessary that I go in there, is it? Oh, damn it. Yeah, that hit the, hit the ground. And we need some, some help on the left side again. So the, the enemy rotated into Echo 7-ish area, into Delta 6. And we are going to continue the fire. Uh, not quite. 
I need an angle. Got him. That was a good angle. Okay, Banshee next. Got him as well. And we are, yeah, we are kind of getting ahead here. We got eight kills. Enemy have three. Uh, there's a single guy, it's Jägermack. I'm not sure if he has bodies around. Oh yeah, yes. Okay, sure. I should push that way. Uh, actually, I'm going for the left flank here since everything is uh, so clumped up on top there. Sadly, the Urban Mech is dead already. So I can't get another shot on him. And uh, Oh no, that's the Urban Mech. Okay. That was another guy. <laughs> Got the kill. <laughs> Alright. So... This is how you play the build. Uh, you just shoot your weapons in staggered shots. It's not really a point shooting all of it together because the gauze, the heavy gauze, uh, just uh, rockets your cockpit to the side. And yeah, I did a little bit of team damage. Sorry for that. Uh, 670 damage to the enemy though. Got three kills. Damage there. Three kills, six assists, and four components destroyed. And yeah, we're going over to the next round and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Crimson Strait. We are playing, what is that, a skirmish, <laughs> right? And I got myself an artillery strike. So my consumable of choice is the artillery strike because I don't uh, make much use of the other stuff. So I don't need a cool shot because my build is very cold and I don't need a UAV as well because I'm not really on the front line. This is not where I belong. Uh, I mean, I am an assault mech and I can take some damage, but I'm not just super brawly go in really deep assault. You know, uh, I'm going to expose myself uh, and take some shots and trade some hits, of course, but mm, not not on the front line, and therefore the UAV is not really necessary. Instead, I can just uh, use my um, artillery strike to do some shenanigans here. So I can just stay on the bottom end of the platform and uh, use the artillery strike right in front of me to shoot the guys on top. That's cool. Also, I can uh, yeah use it at long range and drive them out of cover or drive them into cover. So so that's that's really good. Uh, let's acquired. see what's happening here. So we are going to the tunnel, obviously, which I kind of appreciate, I would say, because uh, we got some assault mix here. That's very solid. And uh, all we need to do now is make sure that we are establishing um, an advantage here. So the enemy is on top, and we are on the bottom. And if anything drops, it is going to get killed. That's the plan. So let's see what's happening here. Artillery strike. So we got an artillery strike. I'm going to drop it right, you know, there. Artillery strike activated. I really hope that I hit something with that. For the time being, I'm just chilling. See that? This is what you do. You just drop the artillery strike um, on top of that platform, and then everybody dies. So continue to push. That's important. Um, we are getting shot from above. Or at least they're trying. So we hug the left wall. Can we shoot a leg? No, not Target really. Acquired. Yeah, let's push that. Let's push that. Uh, let's go to Fox 7. Uh, no, Fox 6. New target acquired. Yeah, okay. At least that hit. <laughs> not The missile's not, but uh, my ghost rifle here. So, when you're doing something like that, um, you just go ahead and oh, shoot Shadow Cats. New oh, yeah. That guy acquired. is in a bad, bad spot. Come up here. Boom! Ah, my missiles missed again. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But his leg is critical, as you can see, which is actually quite valuable against the Shadow Cat. Uh, but uh, what I was about to say is the following. Uh, you want to make sure that you hit guys who's just standing there. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, that you cover both sides of that building here. Yeah. What am I doing? Come on. Do it this way. All right. All right. So somebody is covering my ass. I'm covering their asses, and uh, that's the basic idea. Uh, however, I want to get an angle here. Oh, we are actually on top already. Oh, never mind. I actually forgot that, or I didn't see that actually. So my priority is to get up here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Now. New target acquired. Sorry, Irby. Sorry. New target acquired. So um, I'm going to shoot the big ones because they are the easy ones to target. Yeah, not through that. So five and five. It's going to be an interesting game, so it seems. Yeah. Gonna push forward a bit. Gonna help out the team. Uh, now we are kind of spread. Target acquired. I want to get rid of this. No, not possible for me. My armor is in pretty good shape, so that's a, that's an upside. Target Do I want acquired. to drop? 
That banshee is scary, but I saw an annihilator on top. And I wonder where he went. Oh, that one is dead. Oh, there he is. We can't lose any more Dropping now. Target acquired. Okay, where's the banshee? Acquired. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Can I get him? Not quite. New target acquired. Twist in. Or twist out. I don't care. I can definitely take care of him. Ah, oh, let's go for missiles. That should be it. Yep. Nine and seven. Uh, again, I wonder where that Annihilator went. Maybe he is dead already. Oh, there's a guy. They are behind us. Uh, Fox 6. On top. I saw a blip on the radar. Destroyed. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we got that. Ooh, what was... I found the Annihilator. <laughs> but we got him. Alright. Boom, there we go. So, yeah, we got uh, the Heavy Gauss still. We got one of our MRMs. And uh, Medium Nasus, of course. So, yeah, that, that is that is how the belt plays. You just wreck stuff, or you'll get wrecked. <laughs> okay, overestimated my power here. But anyway, 735 damage, one kill, eight assists. Let's have a look at the end score of the, the whole team, and uh, let's see <laughs> how it went down here. Okay, interesting round, I have to say. Interesting round. Um, yeah, I think our push was, was quite okay here. So, we got uh, one kill, three kill most damage, dealt, nine assists. Again, 735 damage, we got four components destroyed, and that is the Heavy Gauss MRM ER Medium Laser, Laser Cyclops. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page that can support me and keep me going. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.